All right, everyone, Roy McElroy joins us here on the third day of the 105th PGA Championship. We're going to jump right into questions, starting with Mike 8 and then 7. Your, um, your demeanor on Thursday after you finished didn't suggest you would be as close as this going into the final round. Have you, have you turned a corner, or were you deliberately putting things down? Um, I just wasn't feeling great, to be, to be fair. Uh, and, yeah, I think, you know, like, I still don't feel like my game's in great shape. Um, you know, I've, I've held it together well. I've held some good putts. Um, you know, I've scored well. I, I probably hit it a little better off the tee today than I did the first couple of days. But I think this tournament, and, and especially in these conditions and on this golf course, um, the non-physical parts of the game, I think, are way more important this week than the physical parts of the game. And I think I've done those well. Uh, and that's the reason that I'm that I'm in a decent position. What what game are you playing with? Do you feel like, or have you played with so far? Um, like as in a grade or is it like? Right. Um, I don't. Know. It hasn't been. It hasn't been great. I can play a lot better, but um, you know, I was sort of. I just even today, like, I was just aiming it down one side of the the hole and hitting driver and and sort of just accepting that it probably will go in the rough. And if I do hit it in the rough, I'll... It's funny, like, I, I was a little more accepting of the ball going in the rough today, and I actually hit more fairways because of it. So, again, it just goes to show if you just have a little more of a carefree attitude, it seems to work out a little bit better. Rory, along those lines, that stretch six through nine, just because how difficult it is in the rain and the conditions, does that almost make it easier? And what was your mindset going through there? Because you knew how hard it was going to be. So uh, going into six, mindset was don't hit it in the water off the tee. And then second shot was don't hit it in the water <laughs> with the second shot. Uh, and I flared it out to the right a little bit and you know, ended up making a decent five. Um, seven after what happened yesterday with hitting a three iron and it running out into the creek, I just thought, bang it left with the driver, see what happens. Um, eight, I got a little unfortunate with the lie off the tee and then um, nine again was just a, a per second shot but yeah it's a it's a really tough stretch of holes and um you know i i was a little disappointed to give three shots away in that stretch i mean even you know one or two would have been okay but uh you know came back nicely on the back nine with those three birdies and you know to get it in and, a, and two under on the back nine was was good like five and then two please when you, when you walked in here you joked keep raining is it, is it past the point where rain is softening the course? Is it making it more difficult when it's coming down? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it's tough to, to play in, right? It's, it's tough to execute in that sort of, in those sort of conditions out there right now. So, you know, even if, you know, the greens aren't that soft, you know, the, the, the course has held up incredibly well over, uh, over the past, I don't know, 12 hours since the rain started. So, um, but yeah, when it's like that and it's squally and the, the wind starts to sort of gust a little bit, yeah, it just makes execution very hard. And then you said earlier that it's a course where it's kind of not that difficult to shoot 72, but it's very hard to shoot 67. You feel like you're not playing that well. You've shot back-to-back -back 69s. Is there a 65 out there tomorrow? I hope so. Um, you know, like if I look at today, you know, I made enough birdies to shoot a score like that. I just need to keep those, those mistakes off the card. So... Um, I mean, I, I need to keep hope. <laughs> so I, 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 you know, I have to believe that there is a score like that out there because that's, a, you know, looking at the board, it's probably a score I'm going to have to shoot something like that to, to have a chance to win. Rory, given uh, that you haven't had your best stuff this week, obviously, what are you most pleased and proud of the fact that you did just post two consecutive one-unders when you haven't had your stuff? And just as a follow from that, how do you like your position? Do you like coming from behind, you know, tomorrow if things stay re relatively the same? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I think just my attitude's been well, my my ability to just stick in there and um, show a little bit of grit and determination, and, and not let not let rounds get away from me too much. Even, you know, I made a good save for you know two two good putts for bogeys today on the sixth and on the seventeenth there. So just doing things like that not letting the round really get away from you. I, that's, what I've, that's what I've done well this week. Um, yeah, I mean, like I'd obviously like to be a, a couple of shots closer to the lead, but I think with, you know, again, with how I've felt this week, you know, if you had told me on Thursday night that I'd be going into Sunday 
in the top five and you know with a, a realistic chance to win the golf tournament, I, I would have taken it. Thanks for your time, Rory. Thank you.